All right, here we go. So this is the College Board, the SAT practice test number six. So let's get started with section three. Here we go. Number one, Sandy wants to purchase tickets for whatever. Cool story, bro. Whatever, whatever, whatever. This is the equation. What does a 12 represent? 12 is the initial value, the starting value, the Y, NSF, whatever the hell you want to call it. N is the number of tickets. So T intercept would be N is equal to zero, aka zero tickets. Something about zero tickets. So you're not even buying any tickets, but you still have to pay for that twelve dollars or whatever the fuck the reason is. Let's start from the bottom. The total amount, mm -mm, the total amount, mm -mm, the amount of service fee. That sounds like it. The price of one ticket. Hell no. The price of one ticket is fifteen dollars, as you can see. The the shit that is right next to N, right? So it is probably the amount of service fee, something that you have to pay regardless of the number of tickets you're purchasing, right? Here we go, number two, a gardener buys two kinds of fertilizer. Fertilizer A contains 60% fill materials, B contains 40% fill materials. Together, the fertilizer uh, bought by the gardener contained a total of 240 pounds of fill material. So, what do we got? 60% for A, so 0.6A that would be, and then 0.4B, and together should be 240, right? And what do they say? X is the number of pounds of fertilizer A. So just replace that shit, 0.6X plus 0.4, probably Y, and that's probably 240. So if you look at it, answer choice B is the correct one. All right, number three, what is the sum of the complex numbers? Those two, okay, so just add uh, 2 plus 3I, and then 4 plus 8i, you're just adding these two, so just 2 plus 4, that should be 6, that's enough. Number four, equation above, okay, which of the following comes the value of p? Okay, basically that and that multiply should get you this 4x squared, so p is probably 2. Number five. Graph, okay, start with negative five. So A is out, well, I should start from the bottom, but C is out, I just kind of saw that immediately. Start from there, and then the slope should be positive, so what the fuck is B doing here? It's gotta be D, next. Number six, X is that, Y is 18, stop, let's just put that shit right there. Cancel that, that X is equal to 12, so you just, that will be, well, two times 12 minus three, so 24 minus three, 21, answer choice A. Number seven, brick layer, whatever that shit's, just play with it until you leave the H alone. I mean the L, I'm sorry, so just divide by seven, H on both sides, and that cancels the H, cancels the seven, so L is equal to N over seven H, and that's answer choice C. Number eight, table above, for what value of x is w of x plus t of x is equal to x. So basically what they're saying is this, just pay attention to what they're giving you. w of x is right there, and then the t of x is right there, and then the x is right there. So basically what they're saying is the green plus, or the red plus the green should equal the blue, right? So let's go. Start from over here, negative one plus negative three. That would be negative four, not one. Mm-mm. 3 plus negative 1. That would be 2 indeed. Okay, so that's where it is. What do they want for what value of x? These are your x values, and that's x is equal to 2 right there. All right, number 9. So, I don't know who the hell would have the guts to put that shit in there. Square root of 55 plus square root of 9 is not fucking square root of 64. Come on, man. Just look at it. Square root of 9 is a 3. Square root of 64 is an 8, so plus whatever that shit. So subtract 3 on both sides. Whatever that shit is equal to 5. Square, um, yeah, so whatever that shit equal to 5. So now that is square root of x right there. So square both sides, and that gives you x is equal to 25. Answer choice C is the correct one. Don't put D for God's sake. Number 10, Jamie's preparing for a bicycle race. Cool story, bro. His goal is to bicycle an average of at least 280 uh, for all the four weeks. Okay. He bicycled 240 in the first week, 310, 320, and so what should be the fourth week? Okay, so what we know is he wants to bicycle at uh, an average of at least 280. So average, how do we find average? Add them all, 240, 310, 320, and the last one I don't fucking know, but divide that whole thing by four for the four weeks, and you want that to be greater than or equal to three, uh, I'm sorry, 280, 280 it's gonna be. So. This should be it. I don't see this exactly in the answer choices. What I'll do is I'll multiply by 4 on both sides. Do well, I see this shit? So that would be 240 plus 310 plus 320 plus X. As that's greater than or equal to 4 times 280. I didn't bother to multiply that shit because it's fucking right there. You don't need to do jack shit about it. Cool. Next. Number 11. The vertex right there is 0C. Cool story. Which of the following is true with the parabola? The vertex is, well, if you look at it, um, the, the, the original graph right here has got a vertex of zero and whatever C that is, right? And then now what is the 
difference between the original and this new graph that we got? Well, notice some difference. The first difference you should notice is that negative right there. So with that negative, it should be sad face opening downward. And then also another thing is, well, if you compare that to the very original vertex form of the parabola, which looks something like this, so given that, the vertex should be at B and C. So what do we know? The vertex is B, C, so get rid of C and D. And then it should be opening downward once again because of that negative, so it should be downward, which is answer choice B. Number 12, which of the following is equivalent to that shit? Okay, so a lot of the times that, you know, I, I get this from students saying, oh, like, Steve, I don't fucking remember the long division or synthetic division shit like that. Well, that's totally fine. For problems like this, if you see this on the SAT, what you could do is just fucking plug in a value. Let's just say x is equal to 2. Then what did that become? 4, 2 squared plus 6 times 2 all over 4, 2 plus 2. So that'll be 16 plus uh, 12 over 8 plus 2. So that should give you 28 over 10. So when you plug in x is equal to 2, this 28 over 10 is the value that you should be getting. So look at all the answer choices as you put that twos into the answer choices. First of all, though I always start from the bottom, I'm just going to start from the top because A and B are just obviously fucking wrong. And between C and D, I'll just check whichever one is easier to check, probably C. So that'll just be 2 minus 2 over 8 plus 2, which is 10. So having common denominator, call that 20 over 10. That gives you 18 over 10, which is not 28 over 10. So that's else probably D. If you want to check, you can do it, but I know C is wrong. I know A, B are both wrong, so I'm probably just going to start fucking circle D and move on. But if you want to check, then this is what you can do. 3 minus 2 over 10, so that'll be 30 over 10 minus 2 over 10, which gives you 28 over 10, which exactly matches that shit that I get. So you don't have to do synthetic or fucking long division. You can just plug in a number and just figure out whichever one matches. Number 13, equation above T is constant if, to, if the equation has no real solution. So shit ain't real, a.k.a. imaginary. Subtract T on both sides, set it equal to zero because that's what you do with the quadratic all the time. 2x squared minus 4x minus T is equal to zero. So what you would do is you run down the quadratic formula. So it's going to look something like this, plus or minus square root of negative 4 minus uh, 4 times 2 times negative t all over 2 times 2. The point is, you don't give a jack shit about everything else. Only, uh, you don't give, a, you don't give a damn about everything else but this one right here, where you would want that shit inside the parentheses, which is going to be 16 plus 18. You would want, you would want that to be a negative value because you want no real solution, aka what you want is imaginary, and imaginary by definition is that shit that is negative inside the square root, right? So we want that inside the square root, the 16 plus 18, we want that to be negative, so you would be having square root of something negative, aka no real solution. So you want that to be less than zero, negative. Subtract 16 on both sides, so 8t is less than negative 16, and divided by 8 on both sides, so there you have it, t is less than negative 2, so t has to be something less than negative 2, and if you look at it, 3, 1, negative 1, they're all bigger than negative 2, negative 3 is the one that is less than negative 2. All right, number 14, long ass fucking question, blah, 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 the soprano will deliver no more than 300 pounds, stop it. So 300 pounds or less, if you look at it, D's got it, C's got it, B's got it, A's got it, fuck, okay, that didn't help in any way. Each container of detergent weighs 7.35 pounds, so stop it, 7.35 D is what I should be looking at. Um, A's got it, B's got it, C doesn't have it, and D doesn't have it, okay, so that was cool. And then 6.2 pounds of the fabric softener, but that's already in there for A and B, so that doesn't really help. The servant wants to buy at least twice as many containers of detergent as containers of fabric softener. So you got twice as many detergents. So detergent is twice the fabric softener. So something about 2S and the A's got it. So that's why A is the answer. All right, number 15. Which of the following is equivalent to that shit? Just foil this. It's not even that hard. So just don't fuck up on the foiling. That would be A squared. That would be AB over 2. That's another AB over 2. And that would be B squared over 4. So you can add that shit and that will become A squared plus 2AB over 2 plus B squared over 4. You can cancel the fucking 2. So that will be A squared plus AB plus B squared over 4. Which matches answer choice D. All right, number 16. All right, so what is one possible value of B? So you can fuck around with that all you want. So what what to the what power gives me 16? Well, there are a lot of possibilities, right? 16 to the power of 1 gives you 16. Uh, 
4 to the 2 power gives you 16. 2 to the 3 power, or well, through the 4 power, so 2 to the 4 power gives you 16. So, whatever the fuck you want, I'll just try, I'll just say this is it. So that would just be 4, and then I'll want that to be a 2. So what you see here is that um, this b over 4 better be a 2. So I just grab that and be like b over 4 should be a 2. So multiply by 4 on both sides, and there you have it, b is equal to 8. Pretty goddamn easy. You could have done any one of the threes, right? 16 to the power of 1, so you would essentially set b over 4 is equal to 1, or set it equal to 2 like the way that I did, or set it equal to 4 as the 2 to the 4 is equal to 16. Whatever floats your boat, there are three different possible answers that you could have had. Number 17, what value of t? I'm not fucking so easy. 3 over 2 multiply because that cancels this. So that will just be t is equal to 15 over 4. Keep it as is. Keep it in fraction instead of turning it into 4.25. If you will, uh, 3.75, I'm sorry, 3.75. But once again, I will probably prefer to have it in fraction. Number 18, BD is parallel to AE. Cool story, Briar. It already looks like it. So what is the length of CE? So if you look at it, well, first of all, that should be a 10, right? Because a small triangle, 6, 8, 10, 3, 4, 5, you should really know that. And the big ass one, this is 18. I don't fucking know what this is, but that's what I'm looking for, the CE, right? But this is just fucking simple proportions. 6 to 8, that's triple. So 10 to fucking times 3, that should be a 30. Easy. Next, number 19. How many liters of 25% saline solution must be added to 3 liters of 10% solution to 15% saline solution? Okay, so this is basically, well, how many liters, so like X, 25% saline solution, just multiply that shit by 0.25, and must be added to 3 liters, 10%, so 0.1, and that's equal to what well, what liters? Well, that's going to be x plus 3, right? Because you got the x liters and 3 liters together all fucking being poured into a fucking single jar, glass, whatever, wherever they're doing this shit in. And then that would be 15%, so 0.15. There you have it. So 0.25x plus 0.3 is equal to distribute that shit. 0.15x plus 0.45. Subtract 0.15x on both sides and subtract 0.3 on both sides and there you have it. Boom, boom. 0.10x is equal to 0.15. Ain't nobody got no time for decimal shit. Move to, move to. 10x is equal to 15. Divide by 10s on both sides. You can cancel by the 5s and x is equal to 3 over 2. There it is. All right, number 20. Point A and B lie on a circle, radius 1. Cool. So, circle, freaking radius 1. Point A, B. I don't know. I'll call that A right there and call that B right there. Is it accurate? Probably not. Who the fuck is? Arc AB's got length of pi over 3. Okay, so this is pi over 3. Okay. What fraction of the circumference of the circle is the length of arc AB? So, first of all, let's find the circumference. Circumference is 2 pi r. You should really know that shit, but if you forgot, it's in the front of the packet for you. 2 pi r. So radius, we know it is 1. So there you have it, 2 pi. So circumference is 2 pi right now. But your shit is pi over 3. So take a while, I guess. You got pi over 3 out of the entire 2 pi. So you can go ahead and fucking cancel the pies. So that'll just be a third divided by two, which is a third times one half. So there it is, one sixth of the entire circle. So what fraction? One sixth of the entire circle. And that wraps up the end of section three. Let's get straight into section four. Here we go. Number one, which of the following, which expression is equivalent to that shit? First of all, 2x squared minus negative three x squared. So that would be a plus, so that'll be a five x squared. Get the fuck out, C and D. And I'm just going to look at the very last term, negative 4 minus negative 7. So negative 4 minus negative 7. So that would be negative 4 plus 7. So that should be a 3, which is answer is 8. Number 2. The graph. Blah, 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 I don't want to read. Paul finished the end of the race in 6 seconds and Mark finished the race in 10 seconds. According to the graph, Mark was given a head start of how many yards? The fuck? That's just talking about the very wide intercept, right? Mark was given a head start at the very beginning. Well, Mark was at, well, what is that? So each tick must be a 6. So that would be a total of 18. And Paul was at 0. So it had that 18 yards of a freaking advantage. Cool. Number 3. Snow fell, then stopped for a while. When the snow began to fall, fall again, it fell at a faster rate initially. Okay, assuming that blah, 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 which are the following graphs. Okay, so time and accumulation. Well, so in the beginning, snow is falling. Not as badly, though. And then it kind of stops for a little bit. And then after that, it falls at a faster rate. So 
how fast does it pile up? How fast does it accumulate over time? Well, it kind of slow in the beginning. It kind of stops for a little bit. And then boom. Well, it looks like it. Fucking answer choice A. Ain't nothing else. It looks like that. So C is just completely wrong. D is just totally wrong too because it's got no like fucking stalling. And C is like absolutely wrong because it's falling. And the, the accumulation is not falling, right? Snow is falling. But the more snow it falls, the more it piles up on the fucking ground, right? But if you look at B, it's wrong because you fall. Well, it's accumulating faster which is absolutely untrue because in the beginning it was slower and therefore it should be piling up slower not faster in the beginning number four a website hosting service charges a one-time set of fee of 350 dollars and ddos for each month okay so 350 plus a d for however many months okay if a business owner paid 10 10 for the first 12 months so 12 right there what is the value of D? Yeah, I just solved this shit. Subtract 350 on both sides and boom. 12D is equal to 660, I believe. And if we just divide that by 12, so 660 divided by 12, just punch it into your calculator and you get D is equal to 55. Answer choice, D. Number five, which inequality? Okay, so this one basically just, if you look at the answer choices, it's just a fucking simplified version. So what we can do is divide by threes on all of it. And that will give you 2x minus 3y is greater than 4. And that literally looks like B and you're fucking done. Next, number 6. The table above shows a summary of 1,200 responses to a survey. Cool story, bro. 1,200 survey questions. Based on the table, how many of those surveys get the most out of their medical information from either a doctor or internet? So, internet's right there. Doctor's right... Wow, internet? Fucking really? But anyway, so that'll be a total of 76% if you put them together. So, go ahead and take 0 0.76 of the 1,200 responses, right? So, when you just multiply that in your calculator, you will get 912, answer choice C. Number seven, the members of a city council, whatever, 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 I don't give a shit. The council surveyed a sample of 500 city residents who own dogs. The survey showed that the majority of those sampled in, were in favor of the dog park. Which of the following is true about the city council service? If you look at this shit, I mean, you know, D talks about how it's biased, um... C says something about uh, do not own dogs and shit like that. Well, first of all, if you guys look at this question, it's so retarded because just think about what question they're asking to what kinds of fucking populations. They're literally asking people who have dogs. So clearly animal lovers, dog lovers, and they're asking, yo, should we have a dog? I'm a fucking yeah, they're going to say yes, right? Because think about it, right? I mean, imagine you fucking love to play video games. I don't know, Valorant, fucking Battleground, League of Legends, you name it, right? You fucking play, you love to play video games. And I'm like, okay, well, you know what? Hey, 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 should I ask uh, your mom to get you a new PC with the fucking the crazy ass graphics card? What is it, an RTX 38 or shit like that? Should we do that? Absolutely, you're going to say yes, right? Because you're a gamer. You're going to want a good PC. It's just freaking biased for me to ask such a question. You're literally, in this question, you're asking dog lovers whether we should have a dog park or not. What do you think they're going to say? This is fucking biased. So the answer to it is D is correct. The survey sample is biased because it is not representative of all city residents. You got to do a random sampling of people who have dogs, people who don't have dogs, and see what people have to say about it. That's a fair way to put it, right? You cannot ask about a dog part to dog lovers. You just can't do that. All right, number eight, table, blah, 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 blah. Of the people who chose vanilla ice cream, stop it. So only out of that 13 people, what fraction chose hot fudge? And that's eight right there. There it is. Answer choice D. Number nine, total area of coastal cities that, which, uh, of which 11.3 square mile is water. Okay. If the city had a population of 621,000 in the year 2010, which of the following is closer population density? Okay. In people per square mile of land area. Stop it. So, people per square mile of land area. So, first of all, I want you to understand 92.1 is the whole entire freaking coast of city. Of that, 11.3 is water. So, what you got to do is not grab the 92.1 and subtract off that 11.3 because that's water. So, 80.8 .8 is the only land area. So, that would fall right there. And 621,000 will fall, will fall right there. So, six. 121,000 divided by 80.8. .8. Just punch that into your calculator and you will get uh, 7685.64356. Pretty damn close to answer choice B. 
All right, number 10. Between that, Amerigo Vespucci embarked on two... I don't, know, what, what, I don't give a shit. According to Vespucci's letters, the first voyage lasted 43 days longer than the second. Stop. First is 43 more than the second. And the two voyages combined lasted a total of 1,003 days. So F plus S is equal to 1,003. How many days did the second voyage uh, last? So... I want the S. What I'll do is I'll subtract 43 on this guy and have it as F minus 43 is equal to S and put... Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. Never mind. I take that back. It is already nicely as is. I just got to grab that shit and put it in right here. So I keep all my S's, right? So 43 plus S plus S is equal to 1,003. So that'll be 43 plus 2S is equal to 1,003. Subtract 43 on both sides and you get 2S is equal to... 960 so go ahead and divide by twos and there you have it s is equal to 480 so that answer is b number 11 for those uh what is the value of x minus y so first of all if you look at it the way it is if you just add that shit the y just go away so 13x is equal to 13 so x is just equal to 1 put that shit back into whichever way i'll just put this one right here so 7 times 1 plus 3y is equal to 8 so 7 plus 3y is equal to 8. Subtract 7 on both sides. 3y is equal to 1. Divide by 3 is on both sides. y is equal to 1 third. What do they want me to do? x minus y. So 1 minus a third. So 3 over 3 minus 1 over 3. That's 2 over 3. Answer choice B. Next, number 12 to 14 has got to do with this shit. 12, number 12, over the following, which of the following periods is the average growth rate uh, is the average growth rate of the sunflower at least? Like, where is the slope the flattest, right? It's not increasing that fast. So, let's go. Um, 63 to 84 would be, like, right there. That seems pretty goddamn flat, so I kind of like that. 42 to 63, 42 to 63 would be, like, something like this. And that's definitely steeper than the D, so that's out. And then 21, you guys get the point, right? 21 to 42, that's definitely steep, so that's out. Zero, yeah, 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 you get the point. The The very last zone, like towards the very end, right there, that's where it's the least. The, the growth rate is the least right there towards the very end. It's kind of leveling off, right? Number 13, the function H is defined by that shit, whatever, 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 whatever. What does the A represent, peeps? A is the slope, right? So how do we interpret the slope? Slope is rise over run, which is Y over X. But in this case, it is H over T, right? So how fast the height is increasing with respect to time. So something about that, right? So let's take a look. D, the predict total increase. Oh, it's got that word increase I like. In the height of the sunflower in centimeters during the period. Mm, okay, well, I mean, it's got the increase, but it's not the total increase. It is how much it goes up in height per day, which is why these probably not it, right? And then choice C, the, pre the predicted height. Mm -mm, it's not the height. It's not the height. It's the increase. So, uh, B, the predicted the predicted height. Once again, that's wrong. So it's got to be A. Let's see what A says. The predicted number of centimeters of sunflower grows. Okay, there it has. The, how much the height goes up each day. There you have it. Per day, right? Look at this shit. How much height per T per day. So that's why A is the best answer. Number 14, the growth rate of a sunflower from day 14 to 35 is nearly constant. Let's just go. So 30, uh, 14 to 35, that, yeah, that definitely looks pretty goddamn linear to me too. So what do they want? On this interval, which are the following equations? Okay, so what's the equation? Let's just freaking find the slope. So I kind of want to use the table because I don't want to fucking like estimate all the numbers on the graph. I'll just use the 14 and 21. So increase, I don't know, man. I'll just call that 36. I'll call that 68. So the increase is uh, 32. And so that's the rise. And the run is 7. So 32 divided by 7. That's like ah, uh, kind of 5, but not really a little short from 5. The slope should be a little short from 5. And that's probably, probably choice B. Yeah, 4.5 sounds about right. That's the slope, and ain't nothing else even come even close to that. 
Number 15, which of the following relates? Okay, so what's happening? So as you go plus 1, plus 1, and plus 1, what's happening to the y? That is plus 14 over 4. That is plus 14 over 4. Oh, I get it. This is linear equation because it's going up by the same exact amount every time. So get rid of A and B because they're not linear. And your slope better be 14 over 4, which if you reduce, that'll be 7 over 2. And that matches the slope of the choice D. All right, number 16, two triangles, cool, whatever. Which of the following is equal, uh, equal to the ratio BC over AB? So BC over AB is probably, if you look at it, well, that's going to be 32 degrees right there. So if you kind of just like rotate this shit and just flip it upside down or whatever you want to do and you just if you just match it nicely well e is going to come right here the 32 degrees and then the 58 the d goes over there and then the f is going to come right here so the ratio must be well if they're talking about bc well they're probably talking about df and if you're talking about ab they're probably, talk, probably talking about the ed so i should be looking at df over ed which is or, or de which is answer choice b yeah, D, F over D, E, same thing, E, D, D, E, same thing. All right, 17 to 19. Okay, so there's a little equation. I don't want to read this whole goddamn thing. H is the height, and D is the tread depth, whatever the fuck that means, and whatever, whatever, whatever. So number 17, which of the following expresses the right? Okay, just freaking solve for the H. So 2H plus D is equal to 25. They gave it to you. Subtract D on both sides. 2H is equal to 25 minus D. Go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 half to get rid of that 2. So H is equal to 1 half times 25 minus D, which is answer choice B. Number 18, some building, whatever, whatever, whatever. The tread depth must be at least 9 inches. Stop it. So D is going to be... At the very minimum, greater than nine or yeah, nine or greater. And the riser height must be at least five inches. So riser has to be at least five. So five or greater. Which of the following inequalities represents all the heights? I'm sorry, the R is not the riser height, the H, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so which of the following inequalities represents the set of all possible values for the riser height? Well, first of all, you already know this low end right there. H has got to be greater than or equal to 5. So if you look at it, well, C's got that. And then B's got that. So you can get rid of A and D because they don't have that shit. And the second part is this. Look at B. It doesn't fucking make any sense. Like, this one is not even worth your time to actually do the question. Because H is greater than or equal to 5. If you look at choice B, that just means H could be greater than 5. And it could just fucking be anything. Like, it could be fucking 2 trillion. Just look at it. Do you really believe a fucking stair could be a freaking two trillion of a fucking height? Yeah, there's no way in hell. That's way too extreme. It's probably going to be. See, there has to be an upper limit. What is the upper limit? You can go ahead and calculate if you like, but why the fuck would you do that, right? If you wanted to calculate it, the way you would do is, you know, 2H plus D is equal to 25. And if you want the very maximum for the H, then you would put the very minimum for the D. So you just put 9, the very rock bottom that the D could be. And then just subtract 9 on both sides and you get 2H is equal to 16. So divide by 2s on both sides and you get H is equal to 8. But my point is this. I mean, it's got to have a fucking upper limit. It has to have it, right? Well, logically, it makes sense to have it. And you have that little equation. So there is no way in hell this H could be infinity. So that's why I would just fucking circle C. If you wanted to calculate it, you can do it. But I probably wouldn't have done that. Number 19, an architect wants to use a riser tread formula to design a stairway. Total rise of 9 feet. But you know what? They've been fucking talking on inches and shit. So let me just go ahead and turn that into an uh, inch. So 9 feet, they literally give you the conversion for you. So 1 feet is 12 inches. So if you just multiply the 12, that's going to be 108 inches. A riser tread, a uh, riser height between 7 and 8. So H has to be between 7 and 8. And an odd number of steps. Okay. So with the architect's constraint, which of the following must be the tread depth? Okay, so first of all, what could be the depth is what they're asking. But let's just think about it. 108 inches is the entire. So you guys can go back to here and you can just be like 108 inches right there. So how many um, stairs can we have? Well, at this point, you can just go ahead and give it a shot. So 108, let's just assume something easy. 108 divided by 10. It's assuming that there are a total of 10 stairs right then that'll be 10.8 well some 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 things are terribly wrong first of all 
10 stairs, that's not going to work because they literally gave you, it's going to be odd number of steps, right? So 10 steps wouldn't fucking make any sense because that's even. So that's what's wrong with the 10. And 10.8 is also wrong because the height has to be in between 7 and 8, but 10.8 is over 8. So that doesn't fit in that constraint too. Why did I try 10? Just to have a little benchmark. So what I'll do next is I'll probably grab the 108 and try dividing by not 11 because 11 is too ten, close to 10. I'll try 13. So when you guys divide 108 divided by 13 on your calculator, you will get 8.3. Once again, that does not fit into this constraint of H has to be in between 7 and 8. So that's probably not going to be it. So I'll try dividing by 15, and that is probably where I get it. If you divide a 108 divided by 15, that you then you get... Um, then you get 7.2 inches for the height, which nicely fits in between 7 and 8. So now we know that height's got to be 7.2. But what they want is depth, not the height. So freaking these college board douchebags have the 7.2 on purpose. Don't circle that shit. You go to that 2H plus D is equal to 25. Put the shit back in right there. So 2 times 7.2 plus D is equal to 25. 14.4 plus D is equal to 25. Subtract 14.4 on both sides. And there you, there you have it. D is equal to 10.6. Answer choice. C is the correct one. So don't fuck up on that just because you got 7.2. Don't get too excited and just circle that shit. Don't do that. Read carefully what the question is asking for. Number 20. What is the sum of the solution? What the fuck? X is equal to 6. X is equal to negative 0.7. Sum, add those two. 5.3 it is. Number 21, study was done on the weights of different types of fish in a cool story, bro. A random sample of fish were caught and marked in order to ensure none of them, oh, okay, whatever. The sample contained 150 largemouth bass, of which 30% weighed more than 2 pounds. Which of the following conclusions is best supported by the sample data? First of all, please, all we did is 150, not even that many, 150 largemouth bass. Bass, not a small mouth bass or fucked up mouth bass or well, salmon or tuna or fucking none of that shit. Large mouth bass, right? So the best you can say, the best conclusion you can ever draw from this particular experiment is only something about the freaking large mouth bass. Ain't nothing else, right? So let's take a look. D, approximately 30% of all large mouth bass in the pond weigh more than two pounds. Yeah, some about large mouth bass and approximately 30%. They don't say exactly, so I kind of like that. I'll keep that. C, approximately 30% of all fish get the fuck out. Once again, all we can say is something about the largemouth bass only. No other fish, please. I can't say anything about the other fish. B, the average weight of all fish get the fuck out. A, the majority of all fish get the fuck out. It's got to be D. The only thing you can say is something about the largemouth bass. That's it. Number 22, in 2008, 21 states with more, uh, with 10 or more uh, electoral votes, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Based on the table, what was the median on the middle guy? 21 states, the middle guy should be at the 11th, so that's the up to the 4th guy, mm -mm, that's up to 8th guy, mm -mm, ninth guy, 10th guy, mm -mm, there you have it, that's where my median is going to be at, and that is 15. Number 23, blah, 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 blah. After a drop, how many times it, uh, was the ball at a height of two feet? Two feet's right there. Just draw a freaking line. One time, two time, three times. There it is, three. Easy. Number 24, a customer's monthly water bill was that much. Due to rate increase, it now went up to that shit. So we started with 75.74, and we went to 79.86. To the nearest tenth of a percent, by what percent did the amount increase? Well, I'll just do 79.86 uh, divided by 75.74. So when you do that in your calculator, you will get... Ah, shit. 79 divided by 8, uh, divided by 75.74. And I got 1.0544, meaning if that's 100%, that's 105.44%. So it went up by 5.44%. Answer choice D. Number 25, some value is a linear function. What is the value of f of 3? Okay, so first of all, the rise is plus 6, run is plus 2, so rise over run, and that would be 6 over 2, which is 3. The slope is 3. And they gave the y of 2, so there you have it. y is equal to 3x minus 2. f of 3, so just plug in 3 for the x, and there you have it, 9 minus 2, and that's a 7. Answer choice B. All right, number 26. Yeah, too lazy to read that shit, uh, but I should probably pay attention to the ratio. So gear ratio RS is the number of teeth, okay? 
And then what the fuck is this uh, SR, S to the R? So they kind of just like flip that shit. And there'll be the number of revolutions per minute. Okay, okay, cool. You actually don't really need that shit if you just kind of understand the picture. If gear A is rotated by a motor at a rate of 100 RPM, 100 RPM, what is the number of revolutions per minute of gear C? So if you guys just think about it, I mean, you really didn't have to read the fucking ratio up there because just think about this picture. Every time this shit is all rotating, they're all kind of connected. Well, the one that has the smallest number of teeth is probably going to rotate the fastest. The idea is this. Gear C, it's only going to go through 10 teeth to make that one full fucking ro revolution. Versus gear B, fucking look at it. It's got 60 teeth. It should take, if you just look at the two very extremes, it should take way much longer for gear B to make that full fucking rotation because it's got 60, 60 teeth to go through, whereas gear C only has 10. So the fewer number of teeth you have, the faster revolutions you're going to get. So if you think about it, gear A and gear C was 20 to 10. So it's 2 to 1 ratio. So if anything, C, it's got half the number of teeth as A. So if you're comparing the A and C, the C is probably going to go faster by twice. So if you got 100 RPM, it should be 200 RPM for this guy. Or if you just follow that fucking, you know, the... The ratio they gave you up there, well, the 20 to 10th is the teeth. And so for the revolution, you're supposed to flip that freaking ratio 1 to 2. Knowing that gear A is 100, well, then freaking gear C should be 200. That's why answer choice C is correct. But it's just, just logically fucking makes sense. Number 27, that's a circle. What is a radius? So you got to complete the square. So here we go. I'm going to do that first. Take out the 2. X squared minus 3X. And then... For this one, plus take out the 2, y squared plus 1, well, y, uh, and the whatever, and that's equal to 45. Got to complete the squares. Here we go. So that one is going to be completed squares in 2. Well, why did I write 2? x minus 3 over 2 squared. So uh, you're going to get that plus 9 over 4 at the very end. And then for this one, when you complete the squares, that would be y plus one half squared so you get the plus one fourth at the very end so what did you just add you really added mm, mm, that nine over two so i'll just say 4.5 and then what did you really add over here mm, mm, so that's 0.5 so when you do all this shit, then you get that plus that is equal to that's a five so 50 it is so what is the radius well r square so r square is equal to 50 square root both sides r is equal to plus or minus square root of 50 but it's just radius so you don't have to worry about that so radical 50 it is number 28 two different points on a number line are both three units uh from the point with coordinate negative four so where are they you can figure that out easy negative four to the left negative seven to the right negative one three units right so three units to the left three units to the right so the solution to which of the following equation gives the coordinates. Just try this shit. I'll just try the negative 7 first. Negative 7. Uh, that'll be an absolute value of negative 10 is equal to 4. Hang on, no. Goodbye. Negative 7. Well, that works. Does negative 1 also work here? Negative 1. Nope. Absolute value of 2 is not 4. Mm -mm. Try negative 7 over here. Negative 11. Mm -mm. Try negative 7. Yep, that works. Absolute value of 3. That is 3. Try negative 1. Absolute value of 3. That is 3. There you have it. A is the answer. Number 29, a motor powers, the motor car, whatever, I don't give a shit, S inches, T seconds, S is that shit, I don't even know what the fuck this is talking about. Which of the following gives the average speed of the car? I don't know what you guys are talking about. It says inches per second. Inches per second. Just think about it. S, well, inches is the S, and seconds is the T. So that, there, there it is, that's just your answer. S over T is your answer. The only thing is, you don't see that in the answer choices, so just replace that S with that shit over there, what they gave you. So that'll be 16t radical t, which is the S over t. Cancel the t, so there you have it. You get 16 radical t, answer choice B. Number 30, don't read that shit. What's the equation? If you look at all of these, they all have x squared, so it's got to be a parabola. If you just kind of, if you just kind of, if you can picture grabbing all those points and drawing a parabola out of it, it's probably gonna be a sad face, right? I don't know why the hell you would think this is a smiley face. So it's got to be a sad face, meaning A and C are out because you have to have that negative in the very front. And I'm fucking too lazy to check the other ones. Just look at the Y and a set. It's like right there, right around like 760 or something. So it should be positive, not B then. It's got to be answer choice D. Easy. Like fucking 10 second question. Number 31, a group of friends decided to uh, divide the 800 cost of an equal. Okay, what is it? So 800 divided by N people. 
when two people decided not to go, man, what a douchebag, right? So 800 now divided by N minus 2 because two people backed out. Those remaining still divided the 800 costs equally, uh, but each friend's cost increased by 20. Stop it. Okay, so obviously, where is going to be uh, a bigger value of Dallas? Well, it's definitely going to be over here. That's going to be the big because... When two people back out, you pay more. So if you're setting these two equal, the plus 20 should go right there on the small, right? Because this is where you pay less. You 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 would have normally paid less, but now you're adding 20 on that one because people two people backed out. So how many friends uh, were in the group originally? Well, here's the thing. Well, for the qu kinds of questions like this, so the the technically the right way to go about it is you just fucking grab the whole thing and multiply by n and n minus to cancel all the freaking fractions or have common denominator or shit like that. I probably wouldn't do any of that jack shit because that takes way too long. I'll just fucking try some numbers because you know what? First of all, n is a number of people. There's no fucking such thing as 7.3 people, right? I understand some of y'all have fucking friend who only counts as like a 0.3 of a friend, but, but there's no fucking such thing existing on the SAT sake, right? So n is going to be number of people, and we are dividing 800 by whatever the n is. So I'll probably try a number that's kind of reasonable. The very first number I want to try is 8. Just because, right? I mean, 800 divided by 8, that's a nice number. This is 100. And that would be 800 divided by 6, which I don't know what the fuck it is, but I guarantee you that it's not going to be a nice number. So you know what? 20 plus 100, that's a nice 120. That's equal to something that's not a nice number. Mm -mm, this is not going to work. So I'll probably not try the 8. And let me try 10. If I try 10, well, that'll be 20 plus 800 divided by 10, that's 80. And 800 divided by 10 minus 2, which is 800 divided by 80, that's nice. That's just 100. So if you look at it, oh, I'm sorry, not 88. Yeah, and that would be 100. So 20 plus 80 equals 100. Is that true? Absolutely. So what do I know? It's 10 people. Once again, you could have done the typical algebraic ways of doing it, but me understanding the n's gotta be a very nice whole number, it's gotta be an integer, and secondly, we are dividing 800 by the n, so n's gotta be probably something of an even number, and so what works really nicely with 800? I was just trying some numbers. I was first thinking four, but like four people and then two people back out, so it's like only two people. I thought that just fucking doesn't make any sense, which is why I skipped that four, and I just went to eight, and then I went to 10, and I would've gone to some other numbers if I had to, but I got it on the 10. Number 32, what value of x satisfies the equation? All right, so you can just go ahead and distribute that shit. So you get 10x minus uh, 40 minus 15 minus 8x is equal to 7. Make sure to freaking distribute the signs properly. So that'll be 2x minus 55 is equal to 7. Add 55 on both sides. So you get 2x is equal to 62. So x is equal to 31. Easy AF, right? All right, moving on, number 33, a laboratory supply company produces whatever, so radius of two inches, internal height between 7.75 7, 7 and 8. Man, why couldn't they just say, give, just fucking give me a number? What is one possible volume? Okay, so height is in between 7.75 and 8, they say. I'll just say H is equal to 7.8. You guys can use any number you would like, um, but it says one possible volume, so it doesn't matter whatever the fuck you use as long as it's in between 7.75 and 8. So... Uh, we all, what was it? What were you talking about again? Um, the fucking, uh, volume. Yeah, so volume of a cylinder. So pi r square h, I'll point to the front of the packet. So pi radius is, what did they say? Two. And then square, and the height is 7.8. So just punch that, all that shit into your calculator. So when you do that, 7.8 multiplied by 4, multiplied by pi. And I got uh, 98.017690, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, round to the nearest uh, cubic inch. So round to the nearest integer, 98 it will be. I think it could just be anywhere from like 97, 98, 99, and like 100, 101, whatever. Just depending on what uh, number you use for the variable h. Number 34. Okay, graph of that, graph of that, intersect, set them equal, 3x squared minus 14x is equal to x, move it over to one side, set it equal to 0, so 3x squared minus 15x is equal to 0, factor out the 3x, so that'll be x minus 5 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 0, x is equal to 5, so that probably is 5, and this a, a, so it's probably 5 too, so what is the value of a? Just 5 it is. Number 35, the line uh, is graphed. What is the x corner of the x intercept? Set the y is equal to zero, boom, and that just goes away. 4 fifth x is equal to one. Multiply both sides by five over four, and there you have it, x is equal to five over four, easy. 
Number 36, Andrew Maria, whatever, 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 whatever. The mean mass of the Marias is 0.1 kilo greater than the mean of the Andrew. What is the value of X? So first of all, let's find the mean of Andrew. So 2.4, 2.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.100, 3.101, 3.102, 3.103, 3.104, 3.105, 3.106, 3.107, 3.108, 3.109, 3.110, 3.111, 3.112, 3.113, 3.114, 3.115, 3.116, 3.117, 3.118, 3.119, 3.120, 3.121, 3.122, 3.123, 3.124, 3.125, 3.126, 3.127, 3.128, 3.129, 3.130, 3.131, 3.132, 3.133, 3.134, 3.135, 3.136, 3.137, 3.138, 3.139, 3.140, 3.141, 3.142, 3.143, 3.144, 3.145, 3.146, 3.147, 3.148, 3.149, 3.150, 3.151, 3.152, 3.153, 3.154, 3.155, 3.156, 3.157, 3.158, 3.159, 3.160, 3.171, 3.172, 3.173, 3.174, 3.175, 3.176, 3.177, 3.178, 3.178, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3.179, 3